Another key aspect of building our solution architecture that we need to address is parsing documents. Some documents in our knowledge base can be quite long. Even with large language models boasting expanding context windows, like GPT-4 with its 32K token input window, or Anthropic Cloud with 100K tokens, managing long documents efficiently and economically can be challenging. To tackle this, we can chunk documents using a sliding window. For instance, we can define a 500 long token window and slide it through the document. While doing this, we should consider certain details like overlap. Overlapping chunks ensure we don't lose useful information by cutting sentences in half or code snippets. Additionally, we can use the semantic structure of documents like markdown headers to guide the division of documents into chunks. Keep in mind that your applications might face different challenges, such as domain-specific texts, unique formats like LaTeX, or code, or even PDFs. And here, exploring the LangChain library is useful, as it contains various utility functions to handle different document types. In the upcoming video, we'll delve into the workings of our solution. We will assemble components, learn how the LangChain library can help, and explore techniques such as document parsing, embedding, and prompting. We'll start by doing these tasks interactively in a Jupyter Notebook, and then think about exposing our application in a user interface. For your own application, you should plan a user interface that is relevant to your target audience. OneBot, for example, is available on Discord, and also internally on Slack for weights and biases employees. However, a simple web application is often the most straightforward solution. In the following lesson, we'll create a simple Gradio application to expose our bot. If you're interested in building Slack or Discord integrations, uh, we recommend exploring the open source version of OneBot uh, linked in the description below. See you in the next videos.